All right, guys, I'm back. I just had to put on pants because I'm not getting I'm not getting bit up by a mosquito. That would, that's not how my life is gonna end. But anyway, looking like guests having a little bit of trouble with the Ango Weezy uh, Ivy. I say that though, but he's pretty much being oppressed in the corner. So Ango likes to go and shark the ledge a lot. So, um, and so I think the fact that, uh, Guest was waiting there is really good. I knew he was going to go for the Flare Blitz, but, yep, I was about to say Charizard, if he lands any one of those hits, um, that's going to be it. All right, Kanari, thanks for your help, man. I got him on his Discord. Okay, here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the first game was supposed to be Town and City. All right, I was like, damn, what happened? <laughs> that would blow, but nope, that's it. Ready? Yeah, so Guess was like, in the middle of the match. Hey, I noticed. And then they restarted it. Three, Honestly. Two, one, go. Um. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why they didn't just play it out. <laughs> I am like... I am shocked. Alright. Well... I guess new things happen every time, right? Alright, so... Looks like a whole lot of nothing has happened so far. Both players kind of... Just playing out the neutral. Angle throwing himself off the ledge. Um, and being put in the corner. And taking a decent amount of damage for it too. Not really sure why he did that, but... Hey, what do I know? I don't ever compete in these because I can't. <laughs> but um, all right. So far, this is looking like a completely even game. I really do like how Guess has been um, ledge trapping at a distance because IV can do the up B. Ango taking the stock with Ivy, so the ledge trapping might not be enough. He barely survived. I definitely thought that Nair might have killed, but oh my goodness, the stage spike, but the Charizard. I really wonder why he side beat there. He got stage control though and even got a little bit of damage, so. This is a pretty hard position for guests because I, I think even now a side bead or slightly charged S smash might be able to kill here. And I definitely feel like having personally fought Engo a lot, I definitely feel like this is where he starts to thrive. Where he can get ahead with Charizard. Oh, are we going to see another up throw? No, we're going to see a back throw. Maybe he's going to go down with Nair. Maybe he's going to try and get the back air. Nope, he's using a neutral B and guests taking massive damage. And 
Dying into the regular getup. Goodness gracious. Charizard honestly looking like the MVP here. You'd think it might be Ivy, but no. Charizard putting in the most work and getting him an insane lead. He almost feels like a snowball mechanic, like how Arsene or Waff or Aura would be. And you could definitely see it here. Guess definitely not having much of an answer to whatever to what Angle's doing. Sneaking in that fair though, he still has a really, really hard battle to go if he's gonna win this. And Ango, Ango just continuing to put on the damage. Okay, guess finally got an opening, but still gonna need a lot more of those. Oh my goodness, another I don't I don't think he's gonna start another one of those. I thought he was gonna go for the down air, honestly. I'm not sure why he went for the nair, but I guess lives to fight for a little longer. Ooh, yeah, Ango Ango trying to close this off real fast. Alright. Guess doing a decent job of not getting caught by any of Ango's attacks, but he's jumping over him a lot and that could be a bit dangerous. Yep, Ango being patient, knowing that he has a lead, and yep. I think his position that Guess is in is really causing him to crumble to the pressure a little bit, but you know what? I will acknowledge that Guess has done a pretty decent job of trying to get this damage back. He has been being pushed a lot, but he's getting a lot of decent damage, but no matter how much damage he's getting, he's got to get this kill. He does nail the kill, and this comeback would be crazy. But the Charizard's already out here, and if he gets a grab or anything gonna explode. Ango knowing that and taking him out with Charizard there. Honestly, Ango just had to swing at that point. Like as long as he did SD, as, all he had to do was swing. Game one goes to Ango easy. Oh, Amy. Thanks for following, dude. I really appreciate it. I think in my region, not the state, but like my region, I think Ango's probably one of the better players. Like, I think he's worse than like the PR players, but I definitely think he's, he would be the next best beyond, or the PR level players, but I think he's, would be the next best um, as far as, as far as uh, um, anyone else goes. Or in the next best group. I think he did pretty well. 13 viewers looking nice. Uh, Mackin, there hasn't been an official BRPR, but there's been a bunch of discussion around it. Um, yeah, so people are thinking default, Amy, Aiden, um, Ango, Ango, Chubb, um, who else? Nova or Ked? Uh, and I feel like, oh, Elite Tiger, and beyond that, it could be a mashup between anyone, like, I feel like there's a decent gap, oh yeah, Champ, Champ, yeah, I put myself at the bottom, but I don't know how accurate that is, but I feel like the last two or three spots could, could just be a mashup, honestly, oh yeah, Amy, yeah, lay it out, dude. Oh, and thanks for the follow again. Oops. I got told that I was too loud, so I went silent up. But, still, you guys will be able to hear me, so... <laughs> yeah, this should be fine. Alright, so, so...
Alright, so from what I'm seeing, it's looking like this is a bit of a repeat from game one. And go get in the lead and switching into Zard. So, I hope this isn't a repeat, because this could. Oh my goodness! Got that momentum game, but. Ooh. Alright, so Guess didn't get ran over so much that he got his uh, second stock taken before he took Ingo's first stock. Definitely a sign of a little bit of better adaptation. He's putting in the So, pretty good in my opinion. I was thinking a downer was going to come out there, but too little too late. So far, Guess still behind, but it's looked like he's playing this a lot better. Definitely keeping the pressure on Ingo. I definitely think you need to not let Ivy breathe in general, and he's putting on a lot of pressure. Maybe Ingo having to just come back. He's grabbing all that stuff. Not quite dying because of Kalos, but Guess is taking the lead. But, mm, I think that was a bit too risky option there, but... Ingo did not properly punish it, so... Alright, let me see the guy. No, Guess de doing a very good job of mixing up the timings, and I definitely think that he's much better prepared to fight Ingo right here. And he's still doing really good on the ledge traps because he's, he's not letting himself get shot, but Ango slipping in that quick grab. I'm not sure if Ivy's the best pick here because I, while Ivy is good at camping, I definitely feel like. Um, Guess is doing a better job, and in general, that um, man, you know what, I'm just blowing smoke out of my ass. Ango is still up, and the reason he's playing like that, I thought the socks were right. Guess finally taking the stock, but behind in percent, and <laughs> yep, another back here is going to take it, I already know it. Even this will be taking a little bit of that extra damage and yeah, this could be rough. This can get, ooh, but you get you get less ledge invincibility too. And that tilt perfectly spaced and it's just that's it. Pokemon trainer. Yep. I think Guess played that match way better. But at the end Engo was still able to pull ahead. I think the fact that Engo was able to maintain the lead pretty strongly is why he ended up winning. Weezy takes it too well. Um. Alright, so now we have Mackin versus Ango. Alright, that's what I like to see. This dude was looking, he was waiting, and I didn't even have to ping him. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. <laughs> we got the Mac and support in the chat.